How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is the day, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. DJI Life is Big event announcing the release of the new DJI Osmo Pocket. So like usual, there's a lot of leaks the day before leading up to the release events. Um, Drone DJ. Um, has somehow gotten his hands on uh, the manual, the quick start manual for the DJI Osmo Pocket. So we now know what the specs and features are, or some of the specs and features are of the Osmo Pocket, along with a lot of the uh, additional released or leaked images of the Osmo Pocket having additional accessories. I just wanted to shoot this quick video because um, in previous videos I was ex excited about this thing. I was talking about getting it because I thought it was compatible with the, somehow compatible with the cameras or would have the same cameras as the DJI Mavic 2 drones. And we found out I didn't. It's got its own camera. Um, and now that I have a little bit more detail, a little bit more specs, I don't even think that I will actually buy it. Let's just get into some of the specs that was, that uh, Drone DJ posted. So, what the uh, Osmo Pocket is supposed to be is a 24 megapixel, uh, one over two thirds CMOS sensor, uh, three axis stabilized gimbal. So, a very cool thing about the uh, Osmo Pocket is it is able to shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second. The Mavic 2, current Mavic 2 drones are not capable of doing that. Um, it also has 1080 up to 120 frames per second, which is gonna give you some buttery, smooth, um, slow motion video. So when we get into the actual um, shooting modes of the of the Osmo Pocket, we know that it's going to be used as a it's going to be able to be used as a camera and a video recorder. Um, it's going to have uh, I guess its own app. I can't remember. It's called like Wemo or Mebo or something like that. It's going to have its own app. Um, separate from the uh, Go 4 or DJI Go, which was used for the DJI Osmo Mobile. Um, and when we look at some of the uh, the modes that it's going to have, it's going to have the follow mode, which was uh, of course used on the Osmo Mobile. To it's got something called Super Night or no Super Night Scene, which is I, I'm assuming is going to be something like the uh, Hyperlight for the uh, Mavic 2 drones. It's going to have panoramic shooting, and I'm pretty sure it's going to have a whole package of cinematic features that you can use this to create some kind of cinematic effect. Um, it's going to have onboard memory apparently. Um, I'm going to only assume because it doesn't say here it's going to be around the eight gigabyte, nine gigabyte um, range, like the uh, Mavic Air or the Mavic 2 Pro um, or Mavic 2 Zoom. Um, dual storage capacity, so you can actually put an SD card in it. I'm only gonna assume that it's gonna be something that you can hold up to 256, maybe even more. Um, and it's able to live stream to most of your, um, I guess, um, multi live streaming broadcast systems like Facebook or YouTube. With all of those, features the the best features of all of that is the fact that it is able to record 4k up to 60 frames per second um so cool that it can get that cool that it can get 1080 up to um 120 frames per second score so it's going to be comparable or competing with the gopro um 7 right now and that is where i kind of had a had a hard stop on this because now the price point for this is assumed to be 399 dollars a lot of cool features in it, but I'm not going to, no, I can't, I can't pay 300, I won't, I will not pay $400 for the new Osmo Pocket. I'm hoping that that is just uh, a rumor. I'm hoping that it is probably in the $250 price range, but if we look at it, if it's competing with the GoPro and the GoPro is now costing around $400, I think $399 with the GoPro 7 uh, Black is actually price pointed at, um, it might be true, it might be true. So. Just wanted to get back to you real quick. I'm gonna be watching the event at two o'clock like everyone else to figure out what this thing actually is capable of. And maybe there's a couple of extra things that they snuck in that we didn't really see in the uh, pre-release leaks. I actually sat down and watched the pre-release teaser over and over again to kind of see what these, what the features that were there, what, what cryptic message was DJI was kind of trying to get to us in the in the, uh, in the the teaser video. I saw that there was something in like around a pool. I'm wondering if this thing is waterproof um, because the GoPro is waterproof. Uh, what else was there? I saw that it could be used as a camera or a video recorder. I also saw that there were a couple of, I guess, stills that looked like they may have been taken from this that had some cinematic effect or some kind of filter applied to them. Um, and again, I know it's going to work with probably like all, because of what it says on the back of the box. It's probably going to work well with the iPhone device and maybe have a little bit of uh, issue with Androids at first release. Die hard Android user, Galaxy S9. I'm coming to seven minutes right now. I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I know I made a couple bloopers in here. Maybe I'll do a blooper show at some point in time. Let's take a look at this and see what it can do and then get back and talk about it tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye.